Capricorn, so you're gaining a lot of self-confidence here, gaining your power back. Something that you've been wanting to have in your life regarding family, home, money, children. You've been unintentionally blocking it from yourself with self-doubt. You have a vision, but self-doubt likes to try and creep in. But I'm seeing you facing it, addressing it, instead of suppressing it so that the light can come in and shine on it. This is going to bring success, happiness. Hi, this is Sonia here to do a tarot reading for you. All readings are timeless, and when you are drawn to this reading, there could be a message for you. Remember, energies can go both ways, so you could be a cross-watcher. Also, check out your moon and rising sign for better understanding, and if you'd like to support the channel, there are links to donate down below. If you'd like further understanding or spiritual understanding, you can subscribe to my other channel. There's a link for that below. Also, if you would like a personal reading, um, email me for rates or an appointment. And as always, thank you to all of you for liking and subscribing to my channel. And let's get started. Hi, this message is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Um, could be Venus, North Node, basically if you're drawn to the message, there could be something in here for you. Um, be sure to watch other, you're like your sun or your moon or your rising to get a fuller picture. And also just want to say thank you for liking and subscribing. Also remember, leave your comments if you have any questions or um, let me know how it resonates. Um, and I'll go ahead and get started. I pulled the Oracle cards and the archetype cards in some tarot. And then I'm going to clarify with another tarot deck as I go. So I got two for the overall message. I got original self and revelation. I'm going to read part of the message to you. Sorry, I dropped a card. Part of the message to you, not the whole thing because they're pretty lengthy. <clears throat> but the original self, that is... Um, basically about shedding a layer of protection that you've had around you and letting your true self show. Um, I'll bring you this short little excerpt, read you this short little excerpt. It says, we bring you the blessing of original self. As you progress through life, learning and growing, you gain wisdom and strength. You grow more radiant, authentic, true to who you are. As, as this happens, many of the layers of identity begin to fall away. What you once believed about yourself is to be, or yourself to be, is shown to be not much more than clothing your soul and more for a time. You have outgrown it. It is no longer a good fit. It constrains too much, doesn't reflect your personality, vibrancy, uniqueness, and beauty. So discard it. Perhaps you are able to be more spiritually naked. The sense of who you are becomes simpler. You are just you. Others may or may not get you, but nonetheless, you are still you. You are freeing yourself from the projections of others of the world and simply living as your original radiant divine self. All right. And then the next one was revelation. So you might have started this original self process of shedding some layer, some aspect of yourself, something that just didn't fit you, um, who you are. And now it's almost like because of that you're getting something um something's going to be revealed to you it says we bring you the gift of revelation there are times when knowing is helpful during such times you develop unconditional trust in the universe the trust will then support you in living your living your life accordingly to your personal truths you need a lot of trust in yourself and in life to live with such courage, not knowing the bigger picture, can help you stay focused on what you need to do right now. Rather than getting so excited about the future, you become distracted from the work that needs to be accomplished in the present moment, unwittingly slowing down your progress and delaying the very future you want to draw closer to you. However, there are other times when it is more helpful to know, to understand, to see. A particular truth will help you gain perspective. Let go of the past, heal a wound, and feel safer. 
feel more loved, more empowered, and ready for the next step of your on your life journey. This is one of those times where we bring you the helpful gift of revelation now because you are ready to know a deeper truth. Okay. Yeah, so you're getting some type of insight about your future. Um, and it could be um, something that helps you relieve some of the self-doubt that you have. Yeah, it's like you're getting a boost from this revelation. Um, because... The other two cards I have out, the animal spirit cards, you got two of those too. You got panther spirit, which is reclaim your power, and cat spirit, which is claim your independence. So this is like, I feel like you're um, almost like you're feeling confident, like more like you're almost like you're bossing up kind of. Um, where did the... There it is. Okay, so Panther Spirit. These are shorter messages, but um, reclaim your power. So it, it says it takes courage to face challenges, and right now Panther Spirit is here to say that you are braver than you think. Now is the time to take a risk, step into a different aspect of your being, speak as you have never spoken before act as you have been always dreamed you might have the courage to act love fearlessly and fully and expect to feel the adrenaline rush as you have in, been initiated into a new braver bolder self panther spirit says the time for dreaming about what you want to do is giving way to that first courageous act towards reclaiming your panther spirit and power your new identity may feel strange at first but you have what it takes and your soul wants it. Be bold. See, like I feel like there's something that you're shedding because of some revelation that comes to you. And it's showing more of who you are. And it's a very bold person, powerful person. Um, cat spirit. It says, when cat spirit meows, she's calling you to claim your independence and allow for some space between you and the other in your life. The only way you can grow in all your relationships now is to have a healthy sense of self-respect and self-worth. When you walk with dignity, ah, knowing who you are, self-aware and willing to grow, trusting the value you bring, the world will mirror all this back to you in kind. When you say no to codependency and enmeshment, live and let live and practice taking risks as you wander into the new territory for you, cat spirit rejoices. She is here to urge you to let your independent spirit roam free. Um, when I was reading that, I got the message too that there is something about you being very confident and powerful and bold in, in yourself that it attracts what you want to you and yeah there's okay so do that <laughs> do that because uh yeah okay well let me get into it so the first or um another oracle message i got here with the tarot cards is accept and receive there's something about you needing to be able to accept compliments, um, gifts. Like, don't feel guilty for receiving compliments and gifts. Um, the next card you got is the Six of Voices. I'm going to clarify this. I'm feeling like it's almost like you are in the past may have been one of those people that were like whatever no like almost downplaying any kind of um gift or compliment that you've received and with the six of voices that's like walking away from it um you could have also walked away from something that wasn't good for you and it made you feel power more empowered 
more confident in yourself. Um, what is the... <laughs> okay. <laughs> the card that came out is the sun, which is like the happiest card in the deck. This is a really good card to get. It's like... Um... Okay, the sun also um, represents like power, success, illumination. Um, I'm going to get one more for why the sun is there. Hold on. Okay, we've got the queen of pentacles. Um, the Queen of Pentacles is reversed. So what I'm getting from this, okay. So this is, <laughs> okay. So this is, okay, self-doubt. This is a lot of self-doubt. Um, you have been, it's like you've been doubting yourself or like wanting something that hasn't been coming. Um, and what I'm seeing is this is the battle of like right after the battle. It's like walking through the mud knowing that you got to go there and serendipity will find you. So like for some of you, I'm showing, okay, so some of you, if you've been um, having a hard time getting pregnant, this indicates that you um, could get pregnant because basically what it's saying is that the reason why you haven't been able to get pregnant is because of that like lack, feeling like the lack, the need, like, I oh, I want a baby so bad and I can't have it, like that feeling that you get. And um, what it's saying is that like trusting, it's like developing a trust and a confidence that what is for you will come to you. And I think that you, it's, it's saying to find the little things to be thankful for. And it's in the gift, gift giving, like receiving gifts. So any type of gifts, compliments, like feeling like, yeah, yeah, they're right. Whatever, you know, when, whenever, whenever you receive those. Because by doing that, it's like an energy of receiving. And so like you're going to receive basically what you desire when you come into that energy of confidence in yourself. So the unseen is the next card. So there's something that you are not aware of. Um, we've got the Two of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, and the Page of Swords. And, or Page of Voices, which is the same as the Page of Swords. So, I'm going to get a card for each of those real quick. Where did my cards go? Sorry. So, Two of Materials. There's the two materials here. <laughs> the six of pentacles and the nine of pentacles. Or nine of wands, sorry. No, oh, I always get these mixed up. Six, nine. Okay, six of pentacles, nine of wands. That's what it is, sorry. Okay, and the three of materials. What is that here for Capricorn? Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. The Emperor reversed and the Six of Swords reversed. And what's this page of voices? Jesus Christ. Knight of Wands and the Queen of Swords. Okay. 
Okay, so you're getting, okay, so you've been getting, I'm showing that you've been getting like hints, maybe dreams. Um, your intuition is speaking to you about what you don't see maybe in the physical world yet. And I'm showing you here, like, just doing your thing, keeping a balance. There's a balance here between working hard and play and relaxing. And, but it's like very, it's a dance that you do. And I am seeing a collaboration here of like uh, giving and giving and uh, taking. Um, with people now there's something though that you are like i feel like there's something that you're wanting but there's like this self-doubt that you still have and it tries to creep in when you don't see what you're looking for and it's like almost like you can kind of tend to be a little bit manipulative with your communication um because the page of voices is basically to learn acknowledge be it's, it says think before you speak because it's basically saying you can see like at the bottom there's a mountain there in front of you that you don't see and you could trip over basically if you're impatient and so there's like a need to be patient because this energy right here, the Queen of Swords reversed with the Knight of Wands reversed is like, can be an, a mean, angry person. <laughs> like, um, someone who's impatient and just like kind of loses their cool. And um, whatever that feeling is, that bubbling up feeling that, that causes someone to lose their patience and say mean things the, the the bubbling up that's what you need to look at that is the thing that needs to be transformed so you need to ask why do i feel like this and keep asking why like a lot of whys because when you do that you'll find solutions to your question and there's something You've got this mountain here, and at the top of the mountain is the vision where you want to be, and there's darkness that's trying to come in. Like the it's self, I can see it as so much as self doubt because we've got the seven of wands here, um, the seven of inspiration, and this is like overcoming the darkness and letting the light peek through. It's like the sun is trying to rise, but your old patterns of self-doubt, like I'm never going to have what I want, like um, those type of feelings are trying to cloud in on you. And um, and it's I'm sure it's because uh, like patience is needed. Uh, what is the mountain with the seven of inspiration? Okay, we've got the four of wands reversed. Let me get one more. Okay, this has some it has something to do with home relationships, celebrations, engagements, marriages. Okay, so um this could have something okay, so there's the four ones when it's reversed too can be like being too concerned with like material concerns, um, like money, finances, but I'm actually seeing with the moon reversed, this is like 
looking at something you're afraid of and like addressing it coming out with it it can be like you have some kind of secrets or something that you're keeping in and this is like letting it out and facing it or something that you've been afraid of that you haven't been admitting to yourself and like coming out with it it could again because like the four of wands is like the soulmate can be like the twin flame energy home marriage and engagement and so this could have be secrets regarding something around that or like being afraid and letting go of your fears but there's a letting go of fears so like there's some kind of fear in you that is preventing you from having this four of wands upright because you know it's like this our vibration that we put out, it attracts to us situations that are reflecting to us what we're putting out. So I feel like there's some type of fear or self-doubt that's being reflected back to you um, through situations in your life or other people in your life um, but I'm seeing that you are letting that out like overcoming that fear and then because the last four cards here really indicate that too um, and it could have a lot to do with the relationship because the next card you got is the uh, kiss and then you've got the ten of emotions, which is like the happiest. Well, next to the sun is like one of the happiest cards in the deck. And the kiss has to do with like sensual intimacy. Um, like wanting that. And then the ten of emotions is like getting that. <laughs> um but um there is like a fear what is um what is the ten of emotions with the kiss for capricorn king of pentacles okay um that is The King of Pentacles is a father figure, but he's like someone who, it doesn't have to be a father, but it's like the energy of someone, like a protector, a take of someone who takes care of you. And um, it represents physical wealth. The King of Pentacles is someone who builds from the ground up, like nothing to something. Um, it can be an entrepreneur. You keep having the chariot at the bottom of the deck with the page of wands over and over again. So um, the chariot is cancer energy. Uh, the page of wands, I haven't said any of these. The pentacles though, that's earth. And then I've got air here, earth, air. And then the chariot and the page of wands keep coming out. Um, But anyway, um, I'm going to get one more for the King of Pentacles because that, that, that's a person. That could be you. That could be you, too, um, getting stable with your income. Okay, there's like a celebration here. I almost feel like... It's like you, when when this comes out, this thing that you've been holding in that you're afraid of, that you don't want to even address, that you're afraid of, I feel like, um, and it could be why you doubt yourself, 
Um, but what I'm getting is that like you come out as the King of Pentacles attracting to you um, like wealth, abundance, happiness. Like there's emotional fulfillment here. And then with a Three of Wands, this is like, um, or Three of Cups, this is like celebrations with others. Um, reunion, celebration, having a good time having fun something could have came in if it's business like something went well in your business if it's um family life something went well in your family life and there's a celebration um the last card you got is you are magic and knight of materials and this Knight of Materials, it's like the Knight of Pentacles, but he's moving faster than what you typically see in a Knight of Pentacles. Um, but he's really stable. I think this, what is this called? They're, it's like a succulent plant. But they grow. Hmm. Let me get a clarifier real quick and then... And I'm going to read that last message that you are magic to me. What is the... <laughs> this is like, okay. <laughs> this is like achieving, achieving that top of that mountain. Because this is the destiny um, soul. This see the star at the top. And achieving what you were desiring. Okay, so the three of cups, I don't know, the knight of materials with the star. The knight of materials, too, is like weeding out the weeds and then being the one, like the winner. So, like, what I'm feeling, it's like the weeds are the shadow parts of yourself. Um, it could be other things or um, people in your life too that you like weed out that just are not meant for to, like to be in your energy, your life continue. But it's like achieving what success and the star is um, again, it's like something that you are achieving, mastering, receiving. It's very intuitive. It's also Aquarius. Um, and I want to read this last one. It's like basically saying like you manifest what you want. Because this is, you are magic. And then with that star, because the star is very like um, receptive. Okay, so let me read your magic, and then I'm going to end it right there. See, manifestation. <laughs> you are magic. You are stardust in the human form, and you can bring your dreams to life. From your ability to envision your future to your ability to bring it to fruition throughout intentional action. You can co-create the fabric of your reality by intermingling thought, will, desire, and doing. It's time to use your hands as a conduit for your energetic ideas and thought forms and collaborate with the divine universe as you actively change the world around you. Create, make connections, write intentions, heal. Know the great strides and incredible progress you are, like, um, are likely at this time and that you already have everything you need to make this dream come alive if you are feeling blocked by the way the star in this deck also represents fertility for some of you um you may be scattering your resources instead of focusing on a specific goal make sure you aren't overshadowing your positive thinking with any underlying fears of failure or any unintentional thought patterns that are scrambling your vibe Focus your thoughts and you're, you are limitless. Do you feel the power running through your palms? So I will end there. Um, again, if you leave your comments and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks.